or today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Stacy May. So we knew it was going to be a 50-50 weekend for us, and we have now had the better half of our weekend. Rain moved in earlier this evening. It'll stay with us for the rest of tonight and then pull away tomorrow morning. And then we've got some lighter waves of precipitation on the way for next week. It looks like a few of them. That will be more mixed precipitation because temperatures are going to be getting colder. So let's look at our first warning focus. Rain will diminish from west to east tomorrow morning. Then it's going to turn colder through the day. We're going to fall through the 40s tomorrow afternoon. Then those colder than normal temperatures will stick with us through much of next week. And we're not going to have one big storm system like we had last week, but we're going to have several light waves of precipitation coming through. And it's going to be cold enough that it looks like kind of a light wintry mix uh, with each of them. Nothing all that heavy, but could be enough to give us some travel impacts. And we'll talk about the the timing of those uh, here in just a moment on Future Tracker and in your seven day forecast. But right now, we have the steadier rain starting to pull to the east of Evansville, but still a lot of scattered showers to our southwest working up to the northeast. So periods of rain will continue into and through the overnight hours, but again, diminish tomorrow morning. And that's how it looks right now in downtown Evansville. Some raindrops on our camera lens still. That's our superior ag camera on the top of Fifth Third Bank. It's not too cold though, 46 degrees, but it is breezy. South wind at 14 miles per hour with the showers moving through. We're in the mid 40s, and that's kind of where we're going to stay. We're not going to drop much more tonight. So I think we'll level off in the mid 40s, mid to upper 40s for highs in the morning tomorrow, and then temperatures fall through the 40s. So the colder airs to our north around the Great Lakes where you see the snow, we will continue with periods of rain as we go through the rest of tonight into tomorrow morning. You can see that here on Future Tracker. By daybreak, though, most of the rain is to the southeast of Evansville, and then we'll pull away during the morning. We're left with the clouds, cold front coming through, colder air is going to work in, and that will give us those falling temperatures. This is 5 tomorrow evening. Tomorrow night, we'll watch for that first light wave of mixed precipitation. Could bring us some spotty light rain or drizzle, and may mix with a little bit of light freezing rain or drizzle. In our northern counties especially, this is mid Midnight, and then that may kind of get down to right along or just south of the Ohio River by daybreak on Monday morning. Again, not amounting to much, but sometimes a little bit of freezing drizzle or light freezing rain is enough to give us some slick spots on the road. So we will watch that for your Monday morning commute. That will kind of pull away from us uh, on Monday afternoon. We'll be left with the clouds, and it's going to be a breezy and cold day. And then we'll see another light wave of mixed precipitation come through Monday night into Tuesday morning, and that one looks like a better chance to just be along and south of the Ohio River. But we'll continue to watch those over the next few days and keep you updated. It's going to be kind of a tricky and uh, uh, kind of busy forecast next week, even though everything is going to be on the light side. Rain shifts to the southeast overnight. It diminishes tomorrow morning, and then it turns colder. Those are morning highs tomorrow, and then we fall through the 40s. We'll watch for some scattered light rain and light freezing rain tomorrow night into Monday morning. A breezy high of just 35 on Monday. We could see another light wintry mix Monday night into Tuesday morning, especially south. We drop down to 24, and then we struggle to get to freezing Tuesday afternoon. But we should be drying out Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night into Wednesday. Then Wednesday night into Thursday, we'll watch for another system passing to our south that might throw a wintry mix uh, as we get into a Wednesday night and Thursday morning. And then we may warm a bit Friday into Saturday, uh, but that'll just kind of get us back to normal. Cody, most of next week is going to be colder than normal. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. Thank you, Stacy, and Eyewitness News will be right back.